ठीक है सो अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव आस्ट मी दैट हाउ डू आई मेक श्योर दैट ऑल दी एफर्ट दैट आई पुट इन इन टू लर्निंग डेटा सेल्फ Let's say I did this in second year. Now, how do I make sure that I'm revising it the right way before my placements, right? Whether that is an internship or placement interviews, how do I revise it the right way? So I'll talk about all of that. What you should do in between this journey, during the placement period, what how you should revise, what are the right steps to do, how many problems you should solve, uh, what are the right way to basically practice and revise, right? I'll talk about all of that. Please stick till the end of the uh, video, and you'll get all these answers. Just one more request, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and do share it with friends who you feel this will be valuable for. Okay. So in this video, I will talk about a problem that a lot of students face. So you have done enough in data science algorithm, and now you didn't do it for a while. Now you want to revise it, right? so you want to get back into that zone of solving problems so first of all any preparation of data structure algorithms requires you to understand the concepts but more importantly put them into practice you should have solved enough problems and if you've done that when you were learning data structure algorithm you will be absolutely fine now you just need to practice for some time and you will very quickly get back into that zone in that groove of solving problems so you will be absolutely fine in case when you actually learned you did not solve enough problems you did not practice sadly i have to tell you that you are not prepared for data structures that much at all that is the problem that people face when let's say they have done a data structure course in college because and they have not practiced otherwise right like because sometimes in a lot of colleges they would you not practice a lot you will learn the concepts but you not practice enough and that is not that much useful you need to write code to actually get into this problem solving get the understanding of problem solving and do well in the interviews anyways assuming that you have done that practice now it's not going to be a big deal in an ideal scenario what i would suggest to somebody who is learning data structure algorithms right now is to not lose touch with data structure algorithm for a long period in an ideal scenario just stay in touch with data structure algorithm spend 5 to 6 hours a week maybe you spend 1 hour a day or maybe you spend every saturday doing it make it a ritual right like this is exactly what i'm going to do and just stick to that because if you stick to it you will not just only stay in touch with it you will keep improving your skills you will keep solving better and better problems and your overall skill level will go to a very different level right so i would highly recommend you to stay in touch even if you did not let's say but you solved enough problems i'm telling you you will be absolutely fine if you would ask me how to design your revision now my first suggestion to you would be that if you followed let's say a structured path of solving or learning data structure algorithm my recommendation to you would be just go back and redo all the problems what you have done already right when you are getting this revision done right like your first worry is you are losing that confidence that do you even like are you able to solve problems or not and it's very important for you to get that confidence back right and just because you did some problems earlier does not mean that you will not have to solve those problems now you will have to solve all of them again because it's impossible to remember or like just learn the code right you will have to think about the logic you will have to think about the code again so at least these problems are familiar and you will be able to quickly do them relatively and your revision will be done you will feel that confidence that you are back into the business you are basically able to solve again so my recommendation would be like for the first phase of revision just quickly go through whatever you have done earlier just quickly go through those problems again solve all the problems again write the code again and you will just feel very very confident that you are you are there you are able to solve problems and you are absolutely there now once you're done with this I highly discourage you to solve thousand problems now. Please do not try to solve each and every problem out there so that you never get a surprise in the interview. It's not going to happen. You will get a question that you have not done before and one question is good enough for you to not clear interviews. So what you should ideally do is you should not try to solve thousand problems you should try to do like 200 300 400 really good problems. 
right high quality problems not focus on quantity do quality right so now when you are revising don't try to do a lot of problems instead i'm assuming you are about to sit for placements sit for interviews right try to make sure that you are used to that environment what does that mean that basically mean try solving problems on paper pen explain whatever you are thinking when you are writing it down right even if you are alone in the room just explain it to yourself and you when you speak it out you will realize if you could do something better right so you should do that similarly like in the actual interview you might have to solve it on paper pen so practice that that's extremely important give mock interviews if you have that available to you right like one way or the other give mock interviews if you don't have some professional person who can take your mock interviews give it to somebody in your friend circle who is also prepping take their mock interviews give them a mock interview because then more and more you do these things you don't get like you're not doing it for the first time in the actual interview so you will not screw up there you will screw up in the these mock interviews rather than screwing up in the actual interview similarly give time tests give mock tests because a lot of companies will take their first round to be a mock test uh, round to be a test so get that habit done as well right you are able to solve within some stipulated time like some fixed time and you are able to submit it so please do that as well so overall what i'm trying to tell you is if you're learning right now please stay in touch don't lose touch learning just concepts is absolutely useless you need to write code you need to solve a lot of problems for each topic i would recommend 25 30 problems high quality problems will be good enough for each topic pick 25 30 good problems hopefully you are whatever you are doing at like you have some structured path that you are following and those 25 30 problems as you solve you will get that confidence in move to the next topic it's very important to maintain the right balance solving 5 is too less but solving 100 is just too many you are wasting time on each topic you should just do 25 30 high quality problems move to the next one same move to the next one if you have done this revision is not going to be problem and the best way to revise i am saying if you followed this path while learning just redo that as you solve all those problems again you will get that confidence back solve few more problems in the form of mock test in the form of mock interviews in the form of some additional problems like 10 15 problems from each topic so that you are not doing thousands of problems because that's just going to take like for solving errors itself you will take 3 weeks doesn't make any sense right like you want to revise so you want to quickly get done with topics that you are not that strong with quickly done with topics that you are very strong with but spend a little more time on that you might need a little more help and if you want to do that you need to quickly revise and sort of figure out these are my topics which i am really good at these are topics which i need to a little bit i need to do the work on and once you've done the revision you figure out these topics then you specifically work on those topics okay and extremely important don't just keep solving problems also worry about are you creating that environment for you that you will have to face in the interviews that is a mock interview a paper pen right like so all these things are extremely important mock test please get used to that otherwise you will end up screwing up your first few interviews that might be really amazing opportunities that you wanted to pursue and you will end up wasting that okay thank you so much i'm sure if you follow all of this you will be absolutely fine thank you